The speed controller is a precision needle inside here which gives us flow regulation in one direction and free flow in the opposite. The little legend on the side here shows which way to pipe these up. It has a panel mounting so you can just come through a panel make it nice and neat and a locking nut that goes down to lock it off once you set your position. Unit has two ports, one inlet, one outlet port. Little symbol on the side has a little ball going into a V. The direction away from the V is the free flow direction into the ball, which is a check, then gives you a regulated flow. So you're going in this direction to get regulated, that direction get free flow. To an air ram, I'll demonstrate how to connect this. You are going to be controlling the exhausting air coming out of the air ram. That gives us control. It's pushing against the exhaust and we get that control going through there. Control the direction, the air ram speed in one direction. To achieve it in both directions, we'd have to have two of these units. I'll connect some fittings to the ports. Once again we've got our control air which we're going to come out through the exhausting part of this valve which is in this direction and the other side we'll hook into, connect into a five port valve which I have ready over here. Turn the air supply on. This is controlling the air coming out of the exhaust. So when it comes back, we've got air that goes into this front end and we're controlling the exhausting speed out through here. By adjusting this little needle, we can get much better control. So we wind it out, go faster. And winding it back in, we'll get regulated speed. This precision needle flow control will give you the best of all the type of flow controls available because it does have a very precise graduation.